So social learning theory of aggression. Now, this is one of your social psychological explanations. Now, there's three of those. They include social learning theory, de-individuation and frustration aggression. So the idea is that people have learnt to be aggressive and that happens through vicarious reinforcement. And in particular, when you observe a role model being aggressive. Now, this is still using the same meditational processes that we talked about when we looked at social learning theory. So the idea that there's attention, retention, reproduction and motivation. So that acronym of ARM. So they need to pay attention to that behaviour. Now, it's important that you make this explicitly related to aggression. So a child will witness, they will pay attention to the aggressive and violent behaviour. They then need to form a mental representation, they need to retain, they need to hold a memory of that aggressive behaviour. They need to have the skill set to be able to reproduce the same aggressive behaviour. And they will be more likely to repeat that aggressive behaviour if they believe they will get a similar positive reinforcement for that behaviour, so the motivation behind it. So if they see a role model being rewarded for aggressive and violent acts, they are much more likely to be motivated to perform a similar aggressive act. The child is said to be imitating the behaviour of that role model. So the idea is that role model must either be similar to the child, so they need to be of a similar age or the same gender, or they need to be in a position of power. So a parent, a teacher, or equally a celebrity. Now, Bandura believed that aggressive reinforcement by family members was the most prominent source of behavior modeling. So if a boy watches his father attack his mother, they are much more likely to become an abusive parent and husband themselves. But equally, the child needs to have a high level of self-confidence that lets them imitate that behaviour. So the belief that they can imitate that aggressive behaviour. So if we were to look at some AO3s then, we have supporting evidence. There are practical applications of this. So Phillips found that daily homicide rates in the US almost always increase the week following a major boxing match. So that is supporting evidence, but equally it is useful. It provides real world applications. So if police forces are aware that homicide rates might increase, the level of violence might increase after boxing matches, then they could put more police forces on, on um, guard, on, on duty, and be aware that this trend might happen. Equally, we have supporting evidence from Bandura himself, so the Bobo doll study. So you have learnt that for your approaches, so you might as well use it as a valuation point for aggression to try to reduce the amount of information that you have to know. So children that watch that adult be aggressive towards the Bobo doll were much more likely to repeat aggressive behaviour towards the Bobo doll themselves. However, it's oversimplistic. There are other theories that might offer a better explanation of human aggression, such as the biological approach. So genes, the MAOA gene, hormones, testosterone, neurotransmitters, um, serotonin and the limbic system. So they might be better explanations Equally, it demonstrates that this might not be a complete explanation and maybe we need to take an interactive approach between nature and nurture. So this obviously is on the environmental side. It's um, environmentally reductionist. It's, it's breaking it down into um, being reinforced. So therefore it is on that um, nurture side of the nature nurture debate. Um, so it's ignoring any biological influences. Now, in terms of testing it, Bandura's study actually lacked um, ecological internal validity due to demand characteristics. So children actually said in the interview that they felt they had to behave aggressively toward the Bobo doll. It was even reported that one child went, oh, there's the doll I'm meant to hit. So were children actually behaving aggressively um, 
due to direct manipulation or was it down to demand characteristics? So therefore we have many um, issues surrounding the validity of that research. Equally, we have eth ethical problems. So experimental studies are no longer able to take place because we know that exposing children to aggressive behaviour may result in them reproducing that same aggressive behaviour, which is highly unethical. So it's really difficult to test experimentally now and establish that scientific credibility that social learning theory does lead to aggressive behaviour. So if we were to look at a 16 marker, there has been one on social learning theory before, so outline and evaluate social learning theory. Um, Equally, you've got one that's a bit more broad, outline and evaluate one, social psychological theory of aggression. So you can talk about social learning theory, you can talk about um, de-individuation, frustration, aggression hypothesis. And there has been an application question before where they had to respond to um, people um, being violent on a match day. Um, so this has been tested several times. But if we were to focus solely on just a outline and evaluate type question, so an AO1 and an AO3 question, um, your AO1 paragraph would be the idea that a child imitates a role model. You talk about the, the meditational processes, so attention, retention, motivation and reproduction. You'd have to make sure you explicitly relate it to the aggressive behaviour. So every time um, you talk about um, the idea that they've paid attention to the behaviour, you'd have to say um, they were had witnessed the person to be aggressive, etc. Um, equally, you'd have to talk about the fact that they'd have to have motivation there. So they are motivated to behave aggressively because they have seen someone being rewarded for it. So make sure you are explicit. Now, in terms of my second A1 paragraph, I'd probably talk about the idea that the role model has to be of a similar gen, um, age or gender to the child. So they have to be similar to the child or equally in that higher status. So a teacher, celebrity, parent. And then you talk about the idea of that self-efficacy and um, family members being that dominant role model. Then I'd move on to my three peel paragraphs. <laughs> 